For a long time, Egyptian hieroglyphics remained shrouded in mystery. They went out of use during the 4th century AD and their knowledge became lost. And while attempts were made to decipher them during the Middle Ages and early modern period, these were hampered by the assumption that hieroglyphics recorded ideas and not sound. Also, there were no bilingual texts that would allow for a comparison between hieroglyphics and another known language. In other words, no one could decipher hieroglyphics. Enter the Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone is a broken section of a large stone slab. It was found by a French soldier in 1799 during Napoleon Bonaparte's campaign in Egypt. It fell into British hands three years later when Napoleon's army was defeated in Alexandria and it can now be seen at the British Museum. The writing on the stone is an official message called a decree about the king of the time, Ptolemy V. This legal text essentially says that the priests support the king and it would be put up in every temple in Egypt. In other words, it's not because of what the Rosetta Stone says that it is important, but rather how it says it. The same message is written in two different languages, but three different scripts. Ancient Greek, Egyptian Demotic and Egyptian Hieroglyphics. This really illustrates how linguistically and culturally diverse society was and the necessity to cater to different groups of the population. The decryption of the Rosetta Stone is a feat of human collaboration, cunning and resilience. It took over 20 years and a truly international effort for Thomas Young and Jean-Francois Champollion to work out that the names Ptolemy and Cleopatra were written in phonetic hieroglyphics. From there, they were able to put together a working alphabet. By comparing the different scripts, they worked out that hieroglyphics included both conceptual and phonetic signs and were then able to decipher the rest of the text. In other words, thanks to Young and Champollion, we now understand hieroglyphics, which in turn means we have a much better grasp of ancient Egyptian culture. The Rosetta Stone is a hugely important historical artifact that embodies the significance and value of translation within and across languages, in cosmopolitan societies and in our global world.